Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com and for today's warm up, we're going to start out with a yoga flow. So um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, I'm not a yoga expert, but I like taking yoga and uh, it's a pretty good warm up. So it's pretty much a squat, a push up, up or down or dog and then uh, come back up from the squat. So from the side, or actually from the front, we'll do it this way, you're going to start out with uh, your feet together, knees together, come here and then Squat down, hands down, step back, slow push up, or come down from a push up, upward dog, downward dog, step forward, hands above your head, and then all the way up. You're gonna do that 10 times. I'll show you from the side. When you do your upper downward dog, move your feet. So you're gonna flip onto the top side of your feet for the upper dog, roll back over for your uh, downward dog. All right, here. Squat down, alternate which foot you step back and step back up with. Nice and slow, control, upward dog, downward dog. The first couple, take it nice and easy. And then start to maybe uh, push yourself a little further into the, uh, the movements, into the exercise. But uh, it's just a warm up, so make it nice and easy. It's just to get your, your body moving up and down, right? So you're gonna do 10 of those. Then um, the TRX plank or side plank with rotation. So to get in this thing, you want it fairly low. Um, you want it to where you put your toes up, the bottoms of the, uh, the stirrups hit, hit your feet. One foot here, you're gonna do a side plank. So we did these on our forearm like this and you're gonna do a side rotation and then back up. Right, 10 times with that, 10 times on each side. And then um, with the kettlebells, you're going to do uh, some kettlebell carries. So first one is about, let's see, 60 feet. We've got about 30 feet here going down and up. Um, 30 feet down, 30 feet back. So you're gonna start out with overhead carry, rack carry, and then bear crawl. So it looks like this, just gonna walk bells over your head, nice and controlled, down and back, boom, uh, 60 feet total, and then walk down, back in a rack, back and forth, boom, 30 feet each way, and then bear crawl, step with your hands, pop with your feet, step, pop, Arms, feet, arm, foot, all right? Uh, 30 feet. So you want to do this warm up about 10 minutes, okay? So you get to one round, cool, two rounds, but don't rush it. It's not to be rushed, just kind of get the, the blood flowing, all right? So the workout, fun times with the workout. First, you're going to set a five minute timer. So you're going to do snatches for five minutes. Get as many snatches as you can in five minutes with good form. So it's not, you're going to burn yourself out if you're doing, you know, VO2 style snatches. The object is to keep the bell in your hand and do perfect form and to practice your, your form, all right? So all the way up, long enough to if there's somebody counting, which you can, you can have your partner count for you, to count, all right? Um, do at least five in, in your hand before you switch sides. So, you, you, you want to gain a little momentum with one side and then switch. I do 10, 10, 10, 10, back and forth. Five minutes, count your reps. Whatever you get in five minutes, which is going to be around between 90 and 110, 120 reps, you're going to divide that by uh, 10. So if it's 90, it's 9. If it's 100, it's 10 reps. You guys know that. So um, for the workout, you're going to do four exercises. And you're going to take that number that you divided your snatches into. So I got 110 today, so my number is 11. So I did 11 handstand push-ups, 11 heartbeat squats, 11 knees and elbows, and 11 overhead swings for five rounds. Um, you see how this works? Yes, yes, yes. So first one is handstand push-up. And I just did it on the, on the pole over here. I'm not the greatest. I'm going to show you on the uh, TRX also. <clears throat> So, handstand push up. All right, I had to do 11 of those, or if you're doing 
in the TRX, do the single handle TRX, single handle mode. Put your foot in the bottom stirrup. Walk your hands back. Put <coughs> uh, I'm still on camera here. Uh, you can put your other foot up and then push up. I'm not, I'm not squared here. Uh, right? To get your foot out of this, just kick your foot to your, your heel to your butt. Whew, heartbeat squat. I'm just going to show you the overhead swing while I'm here. And um, it doesn't really matter what order you do these in. And then um, knees and elbows. Show you what that looks like on the pull-up bar. A couple different ways you can do these. You can do them underhand. Or you can do an underhand pull-up and then bring yourself halfway up and then bring your knees up. You can do it alternating, one hand over, one hand under, same way, or both hands, and then do knees to elbows, right? There's your workout. Enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.